guys welcome back to another video so what I'm going to make here today is I am going to make a vase and it's going to be a decorative vase a vase however you want to say it so what I have here is I have these um, the cutting boards that I got from the Dollar Tree and I have three of them that I'm going to use is two in a pack and then I have this um, embroidery hoop and it has two parts to it that I'm going to use and I also have some beads that I'm going to use so you guys stay tuned I think what I'm going to do is I am going to draw out my marks on here because I want to make sure that it's going to be even when I get finished with it so I have a red marker I'm going to draw my lines out and then here on my mat there is little bitty dots on here and every um, I guess you would say every inch there is six dots um, yeah, every inch there is six dots in between there. So right smack dead in the middle, there's a dot. And what I'm going to do is mark a dot on my paper after I get done making all my lines. So I want to make sure all my lines are straight and I want to make sure that when I get ready to put my beads on here that everything is in sequence or in some type of some type of order so I'm going to draw this out so you guys just stay tuned So every one is going to be a little dot here in the middle of it. On these um, cutting mats, there's a smooth side and then there's a kind of like a, um, I guess you can say a dull side or a coarser side than, than the smooth side. I'm working with the, with the coarser side because I feel like that when I get ready to paint it, I think it will stick better to the coarser side than it would on the smoother side. So, I'm going to use, see this is a little bit shiny here, and then this is a little bit dull. You can see the difference in the, I have three of these mats that I have went and put all my marks on. And they're pretty much lining up. So... What I'm going to do is here is I'm going to start with my bottom here and I'm going to turn it, flip it in like this and I'm going to glue it on my forward here. You got it. And then I'm going to finish it off with this end part here. And I'm not putting a lot of glue on it. I'm just putting just uh, just enough to make it. This plastic and this wood holds pretty good. So you can see here that I just put a little glue in there. So 
So you can see I can just put a little glue in there. So you can see I can just put a little glue in there. Okay, and like I said, this is the coarser side right here. Okay, so I'm gonna go with my next one. I gotta put it, turn it inside, and put it on the coarser side. And I'm gonna line it. I'm gonna butt it right next to this one here. You know what, I think I'm gonna overlap it. I'm gonna overlap it. And see, I have my lines in here, so the lines are really gonna help me out doing this overlapping procedure here. So I'm gonna tack a little, tack it down right. So now that's my second part. So this is what it's looking like so far. And that's going to be connected together, so don't worry about that. So now I have my third one here, and I'm going to turn it inside. And I'm going to start connecting this one right on this end. And I'm going to overlap it a little bit, which I don't really care about. It. And like I said, again, I am pulling it out a little bit so it won't be on the top, all the way at the top. I don't want it to hang over on the top part here. Okay, I have it on. This is the bottom. I believe this is going to be my bottom. This is probably going to be my top. And I have put the ring on the top and I have put the ring on the bottom. As you can see. And now I am going to make my bottom. And what I did is I went on and I glued around the because it's three of them, it's not four. So I went on and, and glued the seams here. I hot glued them. And like I said, the hot glue and the um, plastic of the cutting board, it holds good together. So this is what I have. And it's about 14 inches tall. I went on and measured it. So it's about 14 inches tall. And it's about... Um, let's see, 14 inches tall and 10 inches wide. So these are 10 inch rings that I have here. So stay tuned. Okay. I decided not to use foam board, but I am going to use this clock here. So it says, uh, Bon Appetit cafe and I believe I got it from the thrift store and um yeah I'm going to use this clock here for my base it has a flat base on the back here so I don't have to worry about it falling over or tipping over or anything so this is going to be my base to my flower pot so I am going to
I am going to glue around here with E6000. So I don't have any glue right here. So this is where I'm going to put my hot glue in and I'm just going to have it just to tack it down a little bit. Putting it down here. I didn't even bother taking the the mechanisms out the clock or anything because I really don't need it for anything so I always find these really really cheap clocks at the thrift store and that's how I made my my riser out of a clock it was an old clock that I got from the thrift store and that's how I made this. And all I did was bling it out with some flower mesh and some beads here on top. And I put a 10 inch mirror right here in the inside of the clock. And I took all the back out. And so you can also use this as a mirror if you wanted to. You can hang it on the wall because it does have the little, little part here where you can hang it on the wall. Or you can just simply use it as a pretty riser. And I have used it at a party for a riser. Actually, my party. So, that's how I made the riser here. I have several of these. But back to my flower uh, pot that I am making. It's not on the thing. I'm doing all that. So this is what it's looking like so far guys and I think it came out this is just something that I made up I hadn't seen it anywhere or anything um, I just made it up I needed something a big flower pot and I didn't want to pay an arm and a leg for it so I decided to make my own and this is what I came up with so like I said it does have the still have the mechanism in the inside there so now I'm going to go and put my beads on and that's why I have these. So what I did here is I went on and I didn't use the beads I said I was going to use. I went on and I just decorated. Um, I put some flower mesh on here just to put a little design on here and I'm going to spray paint it. So I'm going to finish. I have to put three here. And three here and it's just a little design that I just made up and just put on here so I'm gonna continue and then when I get done I'll be back this is the final product this is how my vase turned out I decorated it and I filled it with filler this is just the back side of it in my living room is just another side of the decorative vase this is the placement of my decorative vase don't forget to like comment and subscribe